Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Weights here and I'm coming to do okay. Some of you uh don't want each other. You know? Or y'all just like not treating each other like you care. Alright, it's Milady from Milady's Away. Taryn, I'm coming to do your weekly reading from the week uh for the week of July 10th through the July 17th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, like sharing, subscribing, and schedule <laughs> setting up personal readings. Um, I want to make sure you guys check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get this party started. All right, what's going on? What's going on for Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn? Capricorn, July 10th through July 17th, 2017. Love reading. Capricorn, July 10th through July 17th, 2017. All right, Capricorn. Uh-oh. Let's just see what they say. Mm. All right, so for some of you, a secret just recently came out about somebody feeling like you invading their personal space and, and breaking their boundaries, and they feel like you're doing this on purpose. If it didn't happen already within the last week or so, it's going to happen within the next couple of days before the end of the week. All right, Capricorn? I don't know if I cut, but I feel like I should cut again if I didn't. All right. So this could be somebody who's a different race from you, different uh, religion, a different pay income, just somebody that you feel like you don't fit in with. It's like you feel like this person make you feel like you are... They let you know you're different, even though you can already feel it. Ooh. All right, so I see one flipped. We're going to keep that one. So, um, mm, okay, we got another one flipped here. Any more flips? All right. So I'm going to put those back in, but... This is saying that they make you feel outside it, and that's why they're telling you that they don't want to be with you, or this could be vice versa, it's a general reading, but it's because of somebody baggage, somebody's starting to realize that this person, okay, so say this is you, Capricorn, um, your partner is starting to realize that you got a lot of baggage, or making you feel like you got a lot of baggage, and this is the reason they want to leave you, Okay? Could be all the way around though. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Mm. Okay, yeah, so this person is manipulating you because of your differences. They're using that against you. And it's keeping you up at night. It's making you feel like, all right, sorry. It's making you feel like bad about yourself bad about the situations but I also feel like your dreams are trying to tell you what's going on so basically listen to them all right oh so yeah this person is manipulating you to feel like that so that they can uh, use you to get ahead like they trying to get you to pay your bills while I mean pay their bills while they're not paying okay they're trying to get you to pay their bills and not pay your own and they try to make you feel bad about this they're bringing you down while while you're lifting them up but they're using this in a manipulative way okay so yeah I'm feeling like you might be giving this person gifts of course this goes along with you giving this person everything they need but self-sacrificing in the in the process Yeah, so 
Wow. Okay, so this makes me feel like this person knows exactly what to do to get under your skin and get you to do what they want. And you just try not to look at it for what it is. Only thing you looking at for what it is is you know that you're different from this person. But you don't want to face the reality that this person is using you for presents and materialistic things. Now I got a baggage again. Yeah, so this person trying to use your baggage against you, whatever that might be. Okay, so Cleo cards, right out the books and sure. Okay, I just heard um, addiction. So it might be addictions for some of you, kids for some of you. All right, right out the books and sure you get your full message. What's going on? What is this? I got a nightmares again. Coming together after a separation. There may be a Pisces in this. Or Pisces, Scorpio, um, maybe just a Cancer. I mean, it's. I feel like it might be a water sign connected to this. But we'll see. Mm. All right, what's going on for Can Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn for the week of Capricorn, the week of July 10th through July 17th, 2017. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Yeah, somebody coming out of heartbreak and they're trying to build a new foundation. A stable foundation with somebody. Somebody. This might be a... So maybe if it's this same situation, you guys used to be together. And now y'all trying to come back together and this is what's going on. All right. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna read these straight out the book. So first we have the Knight of Staffs. Knight of Staffs. All right, the Knight of Staffs is reversed, so it says, um, severing of connections, emotional or physical separation. Whoa. That goes back to the Two of Staffs also. Okay, let's go to this Two of Coins. And the Two of Coins is reversed also. This indicates uh, emotional and intimate connections, written connections, legal notices, con uh, credit approvals, innovations, some frustrations from these receipts. So I feel like somebody keep throwing um, like marriage papers in their face. Like, if you do, don't do this, I'm going to divorce you. Or if you don't do this, I'm going to take something back. So I feel like Either your name, somebody's name is on somebody else's stuff and they're threatening to take it away if they don't do what they tell them, you know, or threatening to not pay it or something like that. Some kind of twist, twist, sorry guys. All right, so let's read the Queen of Swords. Um, indicates a person or a situation where devotion and love are present may indicate the presence of paranormal abilities. So... You, you might be dating somebody who's very caring and intuitively, or you are this person. Very intuitive, and like you already know what this person is going to do, but you just keep letting it happen. I mean, because you love them and you care about them. All right. All right, so we got the Eight of Cups. Hold up. We going to scratch that last one. That was the Queen of Cups. That... I guess maybe I was supposed to read that because it said swords in my head. All right, so Queen of Swords is uh, some great wish has not come to success. A person may mourn in private. Joy and sacrifice turns to pain. So, yeah, after this person keep throwing this stuff in your face, I mean, I guess it do go with the Queen of Cups, because you really care about this person, so them throwing these papers in your face constantly is making you feel like 
it's making you feel like crap you know you're trying to act like it's okay but when you go by yourself you you crying in the shower all right so we got the eight of cups and eight of cups says it may be time to move on and start new plans do not let your pride stop you from making a change so this is that situation where you in love with somebody and you went from relationship to re relationship and you found somebody that everybody like and you don't want everybody to um, start looking at you crazy because you can't keep nobody but it's it's all about yourself you know if you ain't happy who cares who else is but that's all I got for you make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want a personal reading check in the description box below other than that thank y'all for everything y'all do and have a nice week